All right, guys, here we are in Adobe Photoshop, and what I'm gonna show you is how to bring your twirl effect to the next level. Now, I just created a twirl effect video, and I showed you basically how to create an action to create the twirl effect. So you can see here, if I scroll down, let me just shut this one here, I have a twirl effect action, and you can actually download this action below the video. I will have a link for you if you wanna download it. And once you download it, you can just easily load the action by going in here, clicking this little, like the little hamburger looking symbol here, and you can go in there and load the action right here, load actions, and you could then just load it up and your actions will appear in here. So basically, I'm gonna start off at that point. So if you, if you don't have your twirl effect action ready to go, then you'll have to do the twirl effect, you know, from start to finish. And I also show you how to do that in the previous video where you create the action. So if you haven't done that yet, be sure to check that video out and that will also be linked below. Now this video is like a part two. This is gonna show you how to bring your twirl effect to the next level. Now wait till you see what we do here. Watch this, I'm just gonna hit play. Now it's gonna go through its normal process here. I haven't done this one yet, so I have no idea how it's gonna come out, but I thought, whoa, yeah, I thought with the purple and the orange it would be pretty cool and it sure is. Look at that, that is awesome. All right, well, I'm really happy with that result. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the bottom twirl in the layers here and I'm gonna change the amount. I'm gonna bring it to 150. Click OK. And then I'm gonna bring the top twirl by double clicking on the top twirl here. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna make it negative 150. Like so, click OK. There we go. All right, so that's what 150 looks like. You're gonna to wanna to go to view and you're gonna to wanna to have rulers checked here if you don't have that checked. And you're also gonna to wanna to have snap checked. So make sure you have these two checked and that's under the view tab. So then what you're gonna do is if you go over here to the ruler area, all you have to do is click within the ruler and you can drag out what's called a guide. And it'll automatically snap to the center of the photo. And I'm gonna drag another one down from the top. Now here's the trick. After that, what I like to do is I like to combine a new layer at the very top, which incorporates everything here. So what the command for that is Shift, Alt, Command, E. And that basically just combines everything and brings it into a new layer. Now I'm just gonna drag that to the top. So now if I shut these three layers off, you can see this layer on the top, the new layer, is, is everything that's below it. So it's all of these things combined into its new layer. So I'm gonna do that. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the marquee tool here. I'm gonna leave it in a rectangle and I am gonna select the half that I want. So in my case, I'm just gonna click over here and I'm gonna drag out and notice that rectangle that was formed. I just selected basically this half of the photo. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command J and that's gonna jump that selection to a new layer, as you can see right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Edit, Transform, and I am going to flip horizontally. And that is gonna flip that layer horizontally. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag right here the Move tool, I'm gonna to select the Move tool, and I'm gonna click and drag this over and it's just gonna snap there onto the other side. Now look at that. Now let me go to View Clear Guides and go right here to clear the guides. That'll get rid of those blue bars and check that out. Look at how awesome that is. Now we have symmetry. So this is what it looked like before, which was pretty cool. And this is what it looks like after. So now you have a really awesome symmetrical twirl effect, which is much more like hypnotizing, let's say. And it just brings your twirl effect to the next level. So let's try this on another photo. All right, I'm just gonna hit play on the twirl effect action. Basically, the more colors you have and the more symmetry you have in your originating image, the more even it looks. Now, this one came out really cool as well. So you can see here, if I zoom in just a little bit, it looks pretty darn cool. But this part down here is kind of lame. You see this dark part? So I'm just going to take this half and I'm going to duplicate it over here like so. But first, I'm going to go into the twirl and I'm going to change it to 150. I want to see what that does. That seems to throw things out a little further. So I'm gonna go negative 150. I'm gonna do 150 here, positive 150. There we go, that, that looks cooler in my opinion. It just throws it out a little bit more. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is a shift, 
Option Command E, and that is going to put all this to a new layer. I'm just going to drag this layer to the top, and there it is. And then I'm going to do that guide trick again. So I'm going to click and drag out the line, and I'm just going to drag a, a vertical here. I don't need the horizontal, but you can also flip it horizontally if you want, depending on what you're going to do. I'm actually just going to do it this way though. So I'm going to select with my marquee tool again this half of the photo, Command-J to jump it to a new layer, and then I'm going to do a Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, like so, and then I'm going to click the Move tool up here and drag it into place. So check that out. Now we have a cool symmetrical image that's really awesome if you ask me. So now I can hit Command-E to just merge that down to the layer below, and then I can do a Transform. I can do Command-T and transform this if I wanted. If you hold the control key down, or the command key down and drag, it'll just drag that one selection. So I can just drag this down a little bit like so. It's a little bit too much red. So I can stretch a little bit the actual effect by using the transform tool like this. Something like that and I'll just click enter. Now that's looking pretty darn good. It's an awesome symmetrical image and it really has a lot of punch. All right, so let's try one more here. I'm gonna go into this image and let's see what we can do with this image. So let's hit play on the twirl effect. There we go, that one looks pretty cool. I'm liking that. All right, so what we can do here, I actually like this one just the way it is, but it would look cooler if it was symmetrical. All right, so now that I have the top layer selected, I'm gonna do a Shift, Alt, Command, E, and that is going to jump everything to a new layer and it put it on the top this time because I actually had the top layer selected. When I did this previously I had the layer 0 selected so that's why I had to move it up. So now that I have this layer selected let me just drag down and it's going to snap there in the center and I kind of like the way that the top looks more than the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my marquee tool I'm going to select the top half and then I'm going to do a Command J to jump that to a new layer. Then I'm going to do an Edit, Transform, and I'm going to do a Flip Vertical. Because this time I'm doing it vertically as opposed to horizontally. Then I'm just going to hit the V key, which is the shortcut for the Move tool. And I'm just going to click and drag this down. And now you can see it has a nice symmetrical top to bottom symmetry there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag another tool out from the left like so and I'm going to merge these two layers on the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command E and that will merge the two layers. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this half of the image with the top layer selected in my palette over there. And I'm going to do a Command J to jump that to a new layer. Then I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and I'm going to do a Flip Horizontal. Then I'm going to hit V, which is the shortcut for the Move tool, and I'm going to drag that over, like so. Now I have a really cool symmetrical image. So I'm just going to do a Command E to merge this layer down. So now everything is merged to this layer. You can see that's what it looked like originally, which is pretty cool. And this is what it looks like now. So let me do a View, Clear Guides, get rid of those blue bars. And you can see with the symmetry, it just looks really awesome. So what I want to show you now is you can do other filters on this. So I'm going to go to Filter, Distort, I'm going to go to Sphere Eyes. And what you can do is you can actually drag this up and it's going to, what it's going to do is it's going to bloat the center of the image out a little bit. Something right around there. I'm going to go to Vertical Only actually because I only want to distort it vertically. And basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to spread this out more, the center area, I want to spread it out more. So I'm going to try that, I'll click OK. And there you have it. So let me show you what a before and after look like. So you could see how it was like squished, and now it's stretched a little. So that's how you can really bring your twirl effect to the next level. Now one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to fill this layer with black. And right now, if you look over here on the colors, I have gray and black selected. But if you just go to Edit, Fill, you can just go there and, and fill it with black. See that? You can select what you want to fill it with. 
I'm going to choose black and I'm going to click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that blending mode to soft light. And then I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit, right around there. And you can see it before and after. So now what I'm going to do is I want to paint with a brush. And I want to paint with 50% gray. So you can go in here to your colors and I have only web color selected. You can uncheck that. And basically in the brightness, you're just going to want to type 50. So 50 in the B, and that will give you a 50% gray color. And that's what you're going to want. And then you're going to want a nice big soft brush. So make your brush nice and big. In my case, it's going to be about 2000 or so. And you can click up here on your brush to make sure it's soft. So you're going to want your hardness all the way to the left, like so. And that'll give you a nice soft brush. And then I'm just going to paint in the center here, and that'll brighten up the center. And you can actually see what it's doing in the layer over here. The gray is basically making it transparent, and it's basically creating a vignette effect, like so. And that's looking pretty good. So you can see with the symmetry, it really brings it to the next level. All right, let's try one more. All right, so let's see how this image behaves with the twirl effect. Let me click play. It's got a decent amount of colors in it, so it should probably do pretty good, but it's not symmetrical. That looks pretty cool. Lots of colors there going on. I'm liking it. All right, so again, let's make this thing symmetrical. So we can go top to bottom or we can go left to right. So I'm just going to drag a guide out here to the center. All right, so now that I got the guide there, I'm good to go. So now I just need to create, I need to combine all these layers into a new layer. So I'm going to do a shift Option, Command, E, and that's going to jump it to a new layer. Now I'm going to, so it's going to combine all those layers basically into a new layer on the top. Now I'm going to select the right half with the marquee tool, do a Command J to jump that to a new layer. Then I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, I'm going to flip it horizontally, and then I'm going to hit the V key for the Move tool, and I'm going to drag it over. Now check that out. Look how cool that looks. This is definitely the coolest one yet. So I'm going to do View, Clear Guides, and I think this looks really cool. So what I want to do now is I'm going to do a Command E to merge that down. Then I'm going to do a Command T, and I'm actually just going to drag. I'm going to hold the Command key down, and I'm just going to drag this bottom point down a little bit, like so. And then I'm going to hold Command down and drag this one up a little bit just like that. I'm going to still hold the command down and I'm going to pull this out to the right right around there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side trying to keep it fairly even something like that. Looks pretty darn good. I'm going to say hit enter to apply that. We're looking pretty good. Now what I want to do is I want to create a new layer and I want to fill it with black so I'm going to go to edit fill. It's already set to black. I'll click OK and then I'm going to change that layer blending mode to soft light. And you can see there, just look what that did. You see how it just really brought the vibrance and color out a lot. So that's looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to paint with that gray brush again. And I already have 50% gray set as my color here on the color palette from the previous one we just did. So you can see here, 50%. I'm just going to make my brush a little bigger. Make it really big this time, and I'm going to click once. Notice I have my opacity up here set to 20%, so it's it's not going to do too much per click. So I'm going to do that, then I'm going to make the brush smaller and click again. Make the brush smaller and click again, and click again. So I'm basically fading that brightness from the outside to the inside, which is giving it like a more like 3D look. And uh, as you can see, that's a really fantastic result in my opinion. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we could always go in here and do more manipulation. I can use the bulge tool. I could use any of the warp tools. And you know, I just, the goal of this video is to try to open your mind as to what you can do with this effect to really get some, you know, extra awesome looking images. And symmetry always tends to look a little bit cooler in my opinion when it comes to stuff like this. So basically, that's what we were doing. We were basically doing a symmetrical modification to the twirl effect. And that's pretty much how it works, guys. So again, just a lot of fun playing around in Photoshop. 
I really hope you got something out of this video. And please let me know what you think below in the comments area. I'd be happy to hear. If you're liking videos like this, let me know and I'll create some more. But for now, that will be it. If you want to stay tuned for more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you got something out of this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And other than that, that is pretty much it, guys. So have a great day and I will catch up with you next time. Take care.